Good morning, guys. It is um, Monday, the Monday after the happening. Bitcoin's all the way back up to 66,000. And this episode, I want to talk about bank wrapped Bitcoin. Now, what do I mean by wrapped Bitcoin? Wrapped Bitcoin is a token that is running on a different blockchain that you can exchange one for one with Bitcoin. Now, um, there is a very successful version of this called WBTC that has been running on Ethereum for quite some time and that does just that. Um, and let me just show you a little bit the, uh, the, the page for Wrap Bitcoin. And here it is, Wrap Bitcoin, do more with your Bitcoin. And this is run, the Bitcoin is run in, by a custodian called Git, BitGo. Uh, and in order to, uh, uh, to redeem your Wrap Bitgo, your Wrap Bitcoin, you need to go through one of these, um, you need to go through one of these sort of validator uh, authorized merchants of Wrap Bitcoin, and they can redeem it one for one. So they've got a scheme where the Wrap Bitcoin can exist on Ethereum. There's these intermediaries who can uh, exchange the Wrap Bitcoin for real Bitcoin and vice versa. Um, and, uh, and all this is managed by a single entity called BitGo. Uh, and you know, this works. Uh, there's $10 billion worth of wrapped Bitcoin out there on Ethereum mainly, but also on Polygon, which is a sort of faster version of Ethereum. Um, but what if, what if we get, uh, now we're talking about layer twos on Bitcoin and stuff. There's going to be other forms of wrapped Bitcoin, right? And so one of the possibilities of these things is to introduce a new, uh, op code to Bitcoin like op CTV or op cat or something along these lines or something new um, that uh, allows for ZK rollups on Bitcoin similar to uh, Arbitrum on Ethereum. Now if that happens you'll be able to have these semi permissionlessly permissionless um, exchanges of Bitcoin for uh, a version of wrapped Bitcoin. I'll just call that ZK BTC. Uh, there, there's going to be multiple versions of this, uh, and it's going to be up to the market to see who wins. Uh, but in any case, these sort of ZK BTC things will have proofs, and they'll run through rollups uh, on, on mo potentially multiple chains, um, and they'll be fast. You'll be able to send these things very quickly. Uh, you can, um, you'll be able to prove, provide fraud proofs uh, to make sure that these things uh, are are kept one to one, and that there's no sort of fake Bitcoin that's ever passed. And so and that's sort of one approach. The other approach is to really do what uh, sort of take BitGo and move it over to something like Chase. Right now, you could have a custodian like Chase. Uh, actually, um, custody the Bitcoin and uh, Bitcoin and, and issue something called CBTC, um, and you have your CBTC uh, be uh, issued one for one with Bitcoin, and this would be backed by the full faith and credit of Chase Bank, right? So, and they would hold the Bitcoin in reserves, and they would charge a fee similar to WBTC of maybe 10 basis points or something in order to wrap the Bitcoin in the first place, right? So that's a model I think that works pretty well. It's not a model that most uh, Bitcoiners are going to like because at some point the, you have a very centralized entity in the sort of exchange for actual Bitcoin. But I actually think it's a very good idea and I think there will be multiple versions of these sort of bank wrap bitcoins as well as potentially some of these other wrap bitcoins so let me know what you think of these ideas i think this is one general way of scaling another completely different thing is lightning but that doesn't get you the programmability uh, of these fast blockchains and it has many other problems uh i'm uh sort of neutral on this i think that these wrap bitcoins could be really good 
I see some negatives for having big banks involved, but um, I'll just leave it there, and that's episode, uh, I think, 80, 89. Thanks.